Hi, this is Janos, it is Real World Audio, and today we are going back to the basics, and uh, I'm answering a question for Ramsey, which I think uh, many of us are wondering about, because uh, it's not really specified. So the question is, I'm paraphrasing, so the signal source voltage, is it steady at a certain volt all the time, or does the volt change with the signal source? up and down, similar to the voltage of the amplifier. And why is he asking this question? He's asking this question because when you look at a, at a, at a DAC or at a CD player or let's say even at a turntable's output specifications, I mean not turntable but cartridge or phono stage, you will have a certain volt specified. So if you look at the DAC, it says like 2 volts out or 4 volts out. And, uh, and the amplifier input, it says like a 2 volt input or a 1 volt input sensitivity. So what does that mean? So when first let's look at the amplifier. So when you read that your amplifier has a 2 volt input sensitivity, it doesn't mean that from your 2 volt output DAC, it, it is going to get 2 volts all the time. It means that the maximum it can handle uh, is 2 volts. But going beyond that, that's not the maximum that your amplifier can handle or will see, but that 2 volt specified, when it's specified as 2 volt, it means that the rated wattage output is produced when that rated input signal level is received. So basically, when there is a 2 volt signal coming in, that produces the peak rated wattage. Now, if our amplifier was rated conservatively, if, if we are going to increase the voltage even more a little bit, the amplifier can increase the wattage. Uh, and and, and uh, that's actually true for most amplifiers that they can slightly increase the voltage if you increase the voltage beyond the maximum rated but uh, but the problem is that you are going to get distortion really soon really fast and loads of it and uh, what's happening now is that uh, for the past couple of decades the amplifier manufacturers were forced to put as high wattage labels on their amplifiers as possible in order just to sell them and anyone who rated their amplifiers conservatively that's a really atrocious marketing choice they always uh, had problems with that and un unless they were a really established brand like Harman Kardon for example uh, something like that then their low let's say like 20 or 50 watt rated amps did not sell well uh, they could have sold much more if they put like 80 watts instead of the 50 on that label uh, so anyway let's go back to the volts so basically uh, when your amp has a 2 volt input it means that you should not present it a signal greater than 2 volts because then it will be very much stressed out and uh, also if it's already seeing a 2 volt input signal then it's giving you the peak voltage rating so it will be extremely loud provided your speakers are sensitive enough to translate that voltage really into sound and not burn it up into heat because even if you have a 50 watt amplifier if your speakers have very low sensitivity you will get uh, not much sound out of it, but it will be heating your room better with all that wattage. Uh, so, uh, because that's, that's what happens in speakers. So, if you dump certain wattage on them, whatever is not turned into sound is going to get lost as heat and mechanical losses. Uh, mostly heat. So, going uh, back to the voltage issue, uh, the, the, the voltage as it gets smaller, 
the music gets quieter. So basically, uh, when your deck says two volt out peak, you are almost never ever going to get uh, two volts out exactly out of your deck. Just, that happens only when the signal is recorded just up to clipping. So, so when you have peak signal recorded on your recording, that almost never ever happens. Nowadays, companies try to use as much of the dynamics uh, of the digital media as possible. So it means that now uh, the music material, when, when you get the loudest passages on a 2 volt output uh, deck, you are going to get something close to those 2 volts, maybe like 1.8, 1.9 volts. Um, but when you go back to the early era of, uh, of CDs, like, uh, like CDs made in the 80s, uh, in that case, uh, they, they just often barely used uh, any of the dynamic range of the CDs. And even though it's rated 2 volts out, but maybe even the loud bits, you had uh, loud parts, not bits, <laughs> loud parts of the music, bits of the uh, music, you had maybe like half a volt output. And, and you just had to crank the volume up and, and then people were wondering oh, why are not they not using it? So anyway, that was something that the industry has realized since that uh, for CDs to sound good, you really need to use as much of that uh, dynamic range as possible. And, and, and it doesn't work like you, we are recording music at a low level and we have tremendous headroom, which we are not using if you're not using it, we are losing it because as we go lower with the signal level, we are losing the bit resolution. So that's a completely different thing. Just a curiosity that I thought I'd mention now as we are talking about volts and watts. So basically that's about it, that the music is going to change. So as the, the volume changes, the volts change. And, and with the change of the volts, we see the change of the watts as well. And, uh, and basically that's it. When you read the specifications on your amplifier, on your DAC and on your source, that what you read as volts for output and for input sensitivity, those produce the uh, highest scenario. So what is the highest voltage that source will output when the music is close to clipping and on your amplifier the input sensitivity rating is what is the biggest signal that that amplifier can deal with gracefully and um, yeah i think that that's about it and we could go into it deeper but uh, but this should be enough for today. So thank you, Ramsey, for your question. And I hope this was uh, useful. I mean, my <laughs> answer was useful. The question was certainly useful. And have a wonderful day. Uh, everyone have a wonderful um, time. And, and have a nice Sunday. Bye-bye. <laughs>